everybody, welcome back. I'm Doug Lawler and this is another DIY. I built a platform bed for a king size mattress and we're going to go over it and install it. And uh, this is going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. If you can do it yourself, piece of cake, let's go. Alright, first we're going to place the headpiece, figure out where we want that. This is the headboard. As you see, I put some divider notches in here so that as this goes together the outside gets screwed together and then these center pieces just slide into place bada bing bada boom um, all the parts numbered from the shop or lettered rather is where they go so it'd be easy to put together If you wonder what that sound is, my friend Pat's in the back room fixing drywall. Okay. We have an outlet here. I'm not sure. I don't want to cover the outlet, so we'll go yeah. back up. Nice and snug, it's what you want. You see I put a top rail on here too, of course when I'm done putting this together, it gets, uh, I put three quarter inch sheet uh, plywood over the top of it. A little overkill, but it'll be nice and sturdy and solid. Square it up. And I think I'm gonna leave it off the wall a little bit because like I said there's a there's an outlet over here. If they ever want to use it, they'll be able to. If I measure off that wall over there, it'll I can get it pretty straight and then put it together and it shouldn't be a problem. See, I used just the um, just an epoxy glide for this project to keep the cost down. Some of the other glides they can get costly, and I already had these in my shop, so that worked out just fine. And the other side. Centerpiece. And this is the wrong board. Yeah. <laughs> the other board's in the hallway. I'll be right back with that. Just like that. Okay? So now. The next thing that I want to do is I want to put my drawer glides in and once again everything has already been already been done at the shop. 
I didn't have enough room in the shop though to set this thing up and actually try everything because I have other projects in there and I've run out of room. So there's a chance I might have to make an adjustment. Uh, so let's see what happens. Now I gotta go around and screw in the fronts of them, put the drawers in, put the top on, and we'll be all set. Alright, I'm just gonna screw these glides in real quick. And everything's already been pre-drilled and everything, so. Okay, time for some drawers. Fitting these drawers in. Bam, just like that, huh? Oh, I got this. We got this board in the way. like that. Everything looks good. Everything's been adjusted. Well, I only had to adjust these two over here. Everything else went together pretty well. And then I'm just going to take some three-quarter across the top. And I cut it tight so it tells me if the bed is square or not. And apparently it's, it's off a little bit. And it says it's got to go that way just a little bit. It should be rough, not right. There it is. Okay. Okay. And so um, this piece got a little crown in it. I can flip this over. It's raining outside. I had to go out to the truck and get my last piece. All right. There you go. Now as you can see. Here in the corner, I put a, a hole in the one piece. So you can, it's a finger pull, so if you ever have to take this apart, you can get your fingers in there. 